God bless everyone. Um, today is December, December 11, 2018. I have another important message for the church. And this message is from the brother. Um, the Lord uses him just in a very special um, gift that he has of hearing the, vo the voice of God so clear as day. And when I received this email and I was reading it, I felt once again, I felt God's voice, his character. You just know. And I wanna share this with you guys. Um, he the title he the title that is that he called it is why worship me and um this is what it says he first starts off with um jeremiah second um 27 through 28 and this is what it says who say to a tree you are my father and to a stone you are you gave me birth for they have turned their back to me and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. But where are your gods, which you made for yourself? Let them arise, if they can save you in the time of trouble. For according to the number of your cities are your gods, O Judah. So once again, Jeremiah 2 27 through 28 and this is what it says who say to you to a tree who say to a tree you are my father and to a stone you gave me birth for they have turned their back to me and not their face but in the time of their trouble they will say arise and save us but where are your gods which you made for yourself let them arise if they can save you in the time of your trouble. For according to the number of your cities are your gods, O Judah. Then hear he, the voice of God where he hears his voice and he's writing it down. And guys, pay attention to this. Pay attention to what God is saying for him to write for the church. My son, my son. Why does why does the church worship every god but me? Why does the church worship every god but me? They think in their minds that they are worshiping me, but in their hearts they are not. Some of my people really believe they worship me. Some with long loud prayers, some with beautiful songs sung to me. All the people thank them for beautiful praise, but in their hearts, pride is growing. My son, hear about a few of the gods my people worship, but there are many, many more. The God of pride, which is at the base, is in all their hearts. They worship food, clothes, cars, Houses, furniture, money, jewelry, music, tattoos, hair, jobs, sex, alcohol, drugs, pornography, sports. Loud emphasis was given here with sports, you guys. Women, men, movies, presidents, ministers, prophets, guns, boating, hunting, TV, fishing, and on and on and on they go. Anything that is placed ahead or in front of me is worshipped. I am a jealous God and want nothing to be put ahead of me. This wicked and sinful generation does not even think on these things. My word says, seek me with all of your heart mind and soul to be found worthy, not wanting anything. Ask yourself, 
my children. Why worship me, my son? I have told you to tell my people to repent, to turn from their evil ways, but they do not. They continue worshiping strange gods, not even knowing what they are doing. It is so easy to continue as always in the same old ways and habits. Thus says the Lord, I will shake the false gods of my house out of my children. They will worship me or they will be driven into utter darkness. There's no more time to play church. My judgment have begun and the world will know it. My son, I am shaking the economy of the world. The plane is going down, the tree is falling, yet people just want to say Merry Christmas. I am shaking the earth in the volcanoes, yet people just ignore these judgments. I am shaking the climate. America, you have not felt cold yet? It will get colder and more snow and nice to match your hearts towards me. Why do you worship me? I say to you, had better figure it out. Your time has run out. I am coming very soon to take those who truly worship me. Amen. The Messiah Jesus he finishes us off. Guys, I don't know about you, but the Lord, the Lord is putting things in place. And the Lord is coming with fury, he's coming with wrath, and he's coming for his people. He, I don't know what else to say to you guys, but God is saying to us that anything that we put before him becomes an idol. Absolutely anything that you put before him becomes an idol. And he's saying right here very clear that he is a jealous God. Right here where it says, I am a jealous God and want nothing to be put ahead of me. This wicked and sinful generation does not even think of these things. Does not even think of these things. My word says, seek me with all of your heart, mind and soul to be found worthy. Not wanting anything. Ask yourself, my children, why worship me? So the Lord keeps repeating himself here, like, why worship him? You know, and if you start thinking about it, God, you start realizing that so many of us are so caught up with the world, so caught up with the things, with the environment, so caught up with, you know, the Merry Christmas and everything, and not truly understanding who God is. Sorry, guys, I got interrupted. Um... I'm going to have to keep this message short. I've just been getting a lot of interruption for this message. This message is so important, you guys. I hope you guys take it to heart. I hope that you guys truly um, pray about it. If you can just simply hear his voice, you can feel that it's God. In Jeremiah 29, 13, that's where you can find the part where God was speaking, saying, My word says, Seek me with all of your heart and mind and soul to be found worthy and not wanting anything. That you can find it in Jeremiah 29, verse 13. The Lord is asking us to, to be aware of our, of our walk. He needs His church to be ready. We have to be ready for Him. And we have to be, be aware of the things of that needs to be deleted out of our lives. He is looking for a holy church. He is looking for a ready, a ready bride, a rapture ready bride. We have to be ready, guys. God is coming soon. The Lord is coming at any second, at any moment in our lives right now. Many, many are going through so much difficulties, and the Lord knows it. But we have to stay firm and stay grounded and maintain a pure walk with Him. Continue on praying, continue on fasting, and, and continue on the walk with Jesus. Having that deep relationship with Him, 
getting to know who God is and getting to know his character, getting into his words and learning of how to armor yourself with the, with the armor of God. Learn how to armor yourself with his, with his word, armor yourself with the armor of the Lord. This is a spiritual warfare, guys. And the closer that the Lord is coming to get us, we will go through so much difficulties. Be strong and courageous, the Lord tells you. Be strong and courageous and know that your God is with you in all of your doing. God is with you in everything that you do in your life. He is with you. Use His Word. His Word is the sword. It's the sword of the Spirit. Memorize verses. That I should give strength to the faint. And to them that have no might, He will increase strength. Guys, God's Word is a sword. Learn to know how to use it. Learn to armor yourself. God wants his people to learn how to armor themselves every day. To walk in the armor of the Lord. To walk in his armor and truth. God bless you guys. God bless you. And let's continue to meditate what God has given us he continued to speak to us in many different ways in many different ways we just have to pay attention pay attention to his voice god bless you guys god bless you